Welcome back to the channel, guys. Arthur here from Draft Media, here to talk about the junior wing from Santa Clara, Jalen Williams. Jalen Williams has been rapidly rising up draft boards after declaring for the NBA draft. He has a good handle and great patience which allows him to navigate around the defense. He doesn't possess the quickest first step, but he understands how to change speeds. His composure and craftiness is very similar to James Harden and allowed him to average 18 points per game on 51% efficiency. Williams looks really comfortable with either hand. He loves the straight line drive and has the one-handed layup down to his science. <laughs> Ryan, this is crazy. Jalen also ran a lot of pick and roll this season, where he again shows off his ball handling and composure for these nice finishes. He wasn't only effective with the ball in his hands though, Jalen is a smart and willing cutter who can play both on and off the ball. He also did a great job getting to the free throw line, averaging 4.3 attempts per game and shot 81% from the charity stripe. Jalen didn't shoot mid-range shots often, but when he did, they were mainly short ones. I'm a huge fan of the mid-range shot and especially for a pick-and-roll heavy player like Jalen Williams. He would become a true three-level scorer if he continues to expand on this aspect of the game. His three-point shot has significantly improved since his sophomore season. He's shooting right under 40% on over three attempts per game. He doesn't get much lift on his shot, but his stroke seems smooth. He's been able to play off ball as a catch and shoot wing at times and is even able to knock them down as a movement shooter. <laughs> this provides Williams with the real NBA skill that teams can utilize. As great of a college player he was, he had a 25% usage rate which will almost certainly not be the case at the next level. He's going to have to transition from being the guide to a role player who helps his team win. My NBA comparison for him is Kevin Porter Jr. with Shades of James Harden. I expect Jalen to get his name called in the late first round to early second round. He wasn't only a catch and shoot player though, he was able to shoot off the bounce with an array of pull ups, step backs and left right dribbles. However, the former struggles are still somewhat of a concern. He may struggle to find the stroke early in the league, but should come along eventually. A big part of Jalen's game is his playmaking. He averaged 4.2 assists per game and was definitely a point forward for Santa Clara. He has great vision and loves to hit his teammates with flashy passes. He truly puts his teammates in good positions to score. I believe Jalen's passing and handle will have him best suited as a secondary ball handler off the bench. In some cases, he may even be able to run point guard. Jalen is always looking for backdoor cutters and dishes out beautiful bounce passes to lead them to the rim. He's such a talented, dynamic passer that even when he was trapped on the baseline, he was able to thread the needle to find his teammate with his signature bounce pass. 
Jalen is always looking up in the head and could fire off passes with one hand. He was essentially playing quarterback the way he would fire off one-handed outlet passes. He was a good playmaker out of the pick and roll as well. Much like every other pass he threw, they would always lead his teammates to the rim. However, he did average two turnovers per game, and honestly with as many flashy passes as he throws, it's bound to happen. He also would lose control of his body in the ball at times, but with lesser ball handling duties in the NBA, this shouldn't be too big of a problem. Standing at 6'6 six six with the 7'3 wingspan, Jalen Williams immediately qualifies under the defensive potential umbrella. He has active hands which I believe is his biggest asset on defense right now. Those active hands allowed him to average 1.2 steals per game and he gets them in a variety of ways. And on these plays we see him caught in jail, attached to the hip of his assignment but is still able to recover and prevent the shot. However, his defense in his current state is abysmal. He always seems to be a step or two behind and gives up angles too easily. Especially any time he's asked to fight through a screen, it hasn't been good. Whether it be a pin down, a flare screen, or just a pick and roll, Williams has had a very hard time defending. I'm not sure if it was his coach, but Jalen seemed adamant on going over on screens, despite being taken out of the play every time. Falling behind the play put his big men in terrible positions defensively as well. They were forced to guard two players at once while Williams was virtually left on the outside looking in. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to join the Giraffe Media family.